a very good evening to one and all in the ever expanding domains of computer vision and natural language processing a new sub discipline known as visual question answering or multimodal question answering has emerged our group today aims to create a visual question answering dataset with about 750 plus images this dataset is aimed at facilitating the interaction of visually impaired people via the means of question answering we have annotated all the images with four questions and their corresponding answers we sincerely hope that our dataset can contribute significantly to this ever expanding domain now keval will explain the process of how the dataset has been created hey all as asra mentioned about the dataset we have uh, categorized the dataset over uh, we have the categories like plants in the plants dataset we have images and question answers then objects then personalities then mountains then monuments and clothes vehicles sports and food at this dataset we have created over 750 plus dataset and now i will hand over to hathi hello everyone as uh, keval showed us the dataset of different categories now this is the vqa dataset in this dataset this is the combined dataset of all the categories in this image url is there and four question and answer is there according to these images so now divya will show the implementation of this dataset okay so moving towards the end of the video i will now show you the python implementation for the csv dataset we have created so using pandas library and numpy uh, libraries we have used for python pre processing and uh, we have converted the image urls that were used here in the vq dataset to display into the image format with same dimensions for every 750 images that are present in the dataset so these are the uh, q1 a1 q2 a2 and following the four question and answers with respective image shown in with the same dimensions for over 20 uh, rows we have displayed we can change to 50 as well for many rows to display for the data set so this was the overall representation for our data set in the python and csv file thank you so much we hope this thank video you. finds you well and contribute significantly to the community thank you so much thank you so much thank you